Welcome! In this video, we'll be finding a base of a trapezoid, part 1. Let's take a look at our example. Example 1. Find the base of the trapezoid shown below. Let's take a look at what we're given. Notice that the little base is equal to 4.8 feet. The height is equal to 12 feet. The big base, we don't know, so we're going to just call it x feet for now. And we're provided with the area being 100.8 square feet. Since we're given the little base, the height, and the area, we're going to relate them through the area formula. Given the fact that we're dealing with the trapezoid, we're going to be using the formula area is equal to 1 half times the sum of the two bases, big base plus little base times the height. Let's substitute in what we know. We know that the area is 100.8 square feet. And that should be equal to 1 half times the sum of the two bases. Big base is x feet for now, plus little base, which is 4.8 feet. And then we're going to multiply that by the height of 12 feet. Let's go ahead and simplify the right expression here. So we're going to rewrite 100.8 square feet is equal to 1 half of 12 feet is equal to 6 feet. And then inside the parentheses, we're going to factor out the uh, feet. So we're going to just leave it as x plus 4.8 times feet. Once again, trying to simplify this, we're going to get 100.8 square feet is equal to, I'm going to bring this feet over here. So we're going to have 6 uh, feet square times uh, x plus 4.8. Now our goal is to solve for x. So let's go ahead and divide by 6 the square feet on both sides. Now notice that the square feet will cancel out right away. So we can cancel those on both sides of the equation. On the right hand side, 6 divided by 6 is 1, so we can also cancel that out. And then we're going to divide 100.8 by 6, which happens to be 16.8. So let's go ahead and write that down. 16.8 is equal to x plus 4.8. Now remember, our goal is to get the x by itself. So let's go ahead and subtract 4.8 from both sides of the equation. Now 16.8 minus uh, 4.8 is equal to 12. And that should be equal to x since 4.8 minus 4.8 is 0. So we can say, well, uh, the big base has a length of uh, 12 feet. So we usually finish up by writing a sentence. Let's do that. So we have, therefore, the base, or in this case, the missing base, has a length of 12 feet. And that's how we can find a base of a trapezoid. Thank you for watching and have a wonderful day.